today I'm going to show you some of the toys that I make for Lollipop to keep her happy and entertained. Um, they also give her good exercise and mental stimulation so she won't get bored. Um, this is Lollipop. This is Lollipop. Lollipop is a lovebird and she is under one year old. So for the first toy, I first cut a paper towel roll into thin rings. I'm going to use the rings to make balls and stuff them with Lollipop's favorite treat. Slide one ring over top of the other and repeat. Some rings will fit better than others, so try to find ones that work best and hold. Then stuff the treat inside the ball. Add a few more rings once the treat is inside to make sure that the treat doesn't fall out. You can also add fresh veggies inside the balls. Just make sure you remember to take them out before they go bad. I'm going to put one ring on the ground and one clip to the side of the cage. For the second toy, I'm using the bottom of a washed out takeout food container, but any sort of box will work. I'm using two pieces of recycled paper that I cut into thin strips. Place the strips inside the container. Make sure to have them facing in different directions and bend some, crinkle some, and layer them differently. Next, sprinkle some of the treats into the papers. Be sure that the treats fall in between the paper and don't just sit on top. I put the container into the bottom of the cage. Lollipop almost had more fun playing with the paper than eating the treats. You can skip ahead to 5 minutes and 16 seconds for the third toy, or you can stay and watch Lollipop enjoy her paper.
using three rolls and making a skewer. I will be pushing the rolls onto a skewer stick while alternating with snow peas. You can use any type of vegetable that you want. I will place some snow peas inside the roll and some in between the rolls. Next, I cut some slits into some of the rolls and push the bent, push the cut parts back. from the top of the cage. For the next toy, I will be using one toilet paper roll. I cut small holes in random places along the roll. Then I push down and fold in the ends so that they close. Then I stuff the roll with green. Make sure that some leaves are sticking out through the holes. And then push the top in so that it closes off. I clip this to the side of the cage. For the next toy, I use a long paper towel roll. I cut slits along one side of the roll and then bend some of the slits into the roll. Inside of this roll, I put some millet seeds. Thanks for watching and I hope that your bird enjoys some of these toys.